Bring on mine and Trevor's. <laughs> All right, if you guys get in, just let us know that you're here. We're having difficulties connecting with Reem and LinkedIn. Uh, so yeah, just let us know if you guys are here. We're live. The event page still looks empty. Do you, got, you want to redirect everybody somewhere else? The event empty, it's not showing. I'm yeah, not seeing anything over. live on mine. Yeah, mine too. Trev's saying that his page is live. Let's go for it. It will have yeah. the reading if nothing else. Live yeah, on there mine. You go. Well, well I mean, it looks page. like we're getting comments. Live. Yeah, we're getting comments and Trev's page is live. We have. All right. So I'm assuming we're live and whatever happens. Is... Right. <laughs> Trev's in the comments. Wait a second. Let's. Um... Trev's. Trev's taking care of the time comments. Dive in and, and send it, Sam. The last I heard, we he was doing some, uh, you know, sure show, and uh, and he just kind of disappeared. And and I'd been wondering when is it coming back. It was kind of being honest. Um, so how, how do we how do we get him back? We're, when's his second show start, starting? When when is Hottest Alicia's coming back? Nathan, why don't we go find Trevor? Let's let's, let's do this. Nathan, you there? Hey, Sam, what's going on? I, uh, just sitting around making some s'mores. I, uh, yeah, I really missed the Hotness and Alicia show. Like it was awesome when Trevor was doing that. Um, and I have no idea where he's been though. You know, I think maybe he's out in the birds. I don't know. Um, but maybe we should go look for him. I know Amber had like kind of an idea, um, to look for him. So maybe we should go see about Amber. Come on, let's go find Amber. Hey, Amber. Hey there. So, yeah, I heard something about Trevor was going to be coming back. I'm not sure exactly when. I know he took this hi hiatus or whatever for uh, Christmas, but it's February now. So, I don't know. Adam, have you seen him? I think we're going to come get you in just a minute. What? What'd you say? Uh uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm just sitting here drinking some coffee. I, I don't even know what's going on. Listen, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to keep track with everything that's going on, but I haven't seen him either. It's been a couple months now. Uh, that was my Saturday morning ritual and I haven't seen him either. And I don't know what the heck's going on. I, I, I guess we could go look at the Bucky's gas station and see if he's there or something. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe Nadine knows. I, I don't, Nadine, have you seen him? You seen him over there on your side of the pond? Hey, on my side of the pond, no sign of uh, uh, Trevor. I've been looking for him as well. I actually went charity shopping today, and then I went for a walk around the park. I thought I might be able to find him, but I've had no luck, I'm afraid. So um, we're going to need to probably get more forces in. So I think we should get Susanna involved. Susanna, are you are you ready? Can we come and pick you up? Hey, hey there. Um, I've just been hanging out here in in Doonbrook, having a, a nice chat with with Anya and one of her friends, listening to some Steve Miller. So I, I know Trevor's supposedly somewhere's in the neighborhood, but um, I haven't I haven't heard anything about him. Uh, what about you, Sam? What are you seeing? Well, the 
see, I know that he's been working on a bunch of stuff and, you know, I don't know if he was talking to, he, he seemed to be talking to some purple haired chick that like knows a lot about, you know, how to fix, you know, video and how to get comfortable on talking on video. Um, so maybe we should, you know, swing by her and see what's going on there. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know where else to look. Nathan, anybody? Could, who could Trevor be with? Well, I don't know, Sam, but I think probably the best idea is for everybody to jump in the van with me and let's just go kind of drive some places and follow up on some leads. I mean, I was talking to a guy the other I'm day about it. insurance and coconuts. And he was like, you know, with Trevor, you never know where he's going to be. You got to go look. Um, we got to be careful, though, because I've been having some like technical difficulties over here. And I think I might have some problems with the van. Like I, I might have gremlins or something in the van. Who knows? Um, but anyway, everybody, make sure you buckle up, Adam, especially you. I know Kristen's watching you. Um, Amber, ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already. Um, I am not going to be in the shotgun though because that just sounds horrible. I'll just hang out like in the middle of the van, maybe. Um, but I might have a cat join us, so we'll just you know hang tight. Hopefully, she won't claw you like she did me. But um, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Hey, um, Adam, did you bring any more marshmallows? No, no, I don't have any marshmallows. I got some cool brisket and some uh, Bucky Beaver bites, though, I'd be willing to share. But I'm with you. I'm not sitting up front. Last time I did, oh, man, I got car sick, and Nathan won't let me off the hook. Uh, he, he, you know, that van, he keeps it down by a river. You think he wouldn't be that particular about how clean the van is, uh, but man, was he mad at me. Ugh, so... Uh, you know, I don't know. Na uh, Nadine, where do you want to sit? I'm going to be in the back. I'm skeptical, Adam, about getting in this van, to be honest. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure that I want to just get in a van that Nathan keeps down by the river. <laughs> so I'm going to need some persuading, or we're going to have to get some nice cushions in the back of the seat, or I don't know. Do, can we see the van? Can somebody describe it? Susanna, have you seen this van? I, I haven't seen the van at all um so i'm a little nervous about getting in the van i've been in some vans where they stick me in the back corner and it's like no i can't do this so i better have some good air or put me put me someplace that <laughs> i can really see and i'm not stuck in the dark i don't get claustrophobic that's why i love doing brook so much it's like wide open and the van well let's let's see what trevor's got what is this van samantha well, I mean, Nathan's Nathan's pulling up right now. Um, so, guys, what does it look like? Purple. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's got a freaking Pegasus on the side of it. What? Like, so how weird. are we going to travel all around the world with a Pegasus purple van? <sighs> Come on, Jeff. we're supposed to be inconspicuous, Nathan. Gosh, but I guess I'll take shotgun. Does that mean I get to control the radio? Yes, it does. It also means you're the closest to the s'mores supplies. <laughs> Let's get everybody in here. Amber, come on, hop in. Let's go. All right. I'm ready. Um, so where are we going first? Are we going to go pick up Adam? Is that next? Because I think I'm just here with you guys, right? Sam and Nathan. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I'm in Ohio. I think we have to go down to... Where are you, Adam? It's Mississippi or something. Anyway, wherever we're at, we're heading down south. Let's go. Come on, Adam. Yeah, it's going to be a great trip. I mean, of course, you're going to have to go through Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, so be careful. The silver fox that hangs out there tells a lot of great stories. But, uh, boy, and he can take up a, a whole day's time if you're not careful. Uh, I'm really glad uh, that Sam's running the tunes because if not... Uh, uh, Susanna's just going to play Steve Miller again and again <laughs> and again. And if I hear abracadabra more time, I am going to lose my mind. But, you know, after you come get me, where are we next? I, I can't really remember. Um, but wherever we go, we're going to we're gonna have to probably get over to the UK at some point to look for him, aren't we? I mean, I think he was talking about traveling internationally. I know he likes to uh, get out and about and and unleash the hotness. I don't know. What do you think, Nadine? Is he over? Uh, should we come over your way next? 
I'm so glad you decided to come over this way. I think you should come over. You know what I'll do is I'll head down to Clapham Junction and you can pick me up from there. That's going to be way easier for you to find. Um, so I just need to get on a train. All the trains are delayed here, though. There's so many uh, strikes going on. So we should be paying the train people more. Um, but yeah, if you can come down, I'll get on a train now. And then by the time you get to Clapham, I'll be there and ready, um, ready and waiting. Um, so let me lock up my door <laughs> oh it's got a trick to it okay so i'm gonna head out now i'll see you there but can you i don't know do a quick white round of the van just so that it's like nice for me when i get there and you know get some rock music on. i don't want any of that country stuff that i know you guys are gonna have on and then we'll do the most logical loop from the uk back to portland i think that's you know that's definitely the most efficient way to do this drive Right? What do you think? Should we go and get Susanna now? <laughs> oh, it, it, it sounds like you guys are just going to be all over the world. And I'm just going to hang out here, talk with Athena a little bit um, and see if, if she can put some feelers out in her own um, during all the the forest patrons and see if their network can find Trevor. I mean, let you guys kind of. Go where you're going, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the the forest network. See what, see if I can find anything out from Athena. So, um, let me know when you get a little bit closer here, Sam. Will do. I mean, Platinum Junction. That sounds kind of awesome. Um, how will we know how to find Nadine though? Obviously that boa is going to come in handy because I don't think many people are going to be wearing boas, uh, you know, just walking around. So we've got purple Pegasus vans and, and epic boas. <laughs> um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I hope that Lady Athena can, you know, spread her wings and go and tell us where Trevor is because, you know, animals can tell us just about anything. Um, so, Trevor has, he's, I know he's starting a, a, a new show to help other people. Um, so how do we help him get back to be able to do his show? Like Hotness and Leisure should like, can you think we can convince him? You think, you think a purple Pegasus fan will help convince him to come back and start it again? Listen, I got the seats wiped down. Nadine's going to like it. Trevor's going to like it. It's going to be great if we can ever find him. But listen, I'm kind of concerned about what's going on over here because I got some weird sounds in the dash and I'm really worried about this gremlin situation. Oh, God, you guys, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My. Oh, there was a real. He's actually gone. He's actually Goodness. gone. <laughs> he's, I, who's who's Nathan? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> who's going to. Sam, take over. I've got it. I've got the wheel. The driver just got <laughs> taken down. Get it. Amber, can't you bat that away? Oh my gosh. Where is he? Come on. Come on. Come on. Take the wheel. Uh, Sam, grab the wheel. <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> We're good. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, because we just about had like flying cats everywhere too. That would not be good. <laughs> um, all right, can you turn the volume down just a little bit? The noise is, yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to go take a nap now because that's my favorite thing to do when I'm driving around the world. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. Just talk without me. <laughs> Are you asleep? Are you awake? Are you asleep? You're not trying know. to sleep, are you? Are you sleeping? I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Don't. Stop. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Stop. Sleeping? Are you sleeping? Stop. Pull over. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, man, that's the best game ever. I remember as a kid playing on long road trips, we would either look for the, the license plate game where you would look for specific license plates from specific states and you get a point for finding the state of, that you had chose. Uh, but then sometimes we would play the I spy game and we would look outside the van windows or station wagon windows and I spy a gas station, I spy a blue bridge, I spy something that's red, I spy something that's yellow. 
And one of my favorite games to play was uh, I Spy, and I would pick a color that didn't exist, and then that would just irritate everybody. <laughs> so I think we should play the I Spy game just to kind of pass the time what do you think nadine is that gonna is that gonna keep things on track we, yeah it's a good game i think we can do that although i don't know how useful it is to be just trying to annoy each other we're gonna be in this van for hours is that the plan <laughs> we, weeks. we are gonna be here for a while <laughs> weeks we're driving all around the world yeah okay so um so i'll start i'll i spy oh god oh god oh god <laughs> <laughs> I spy, do you know what? And I am going to make a costume change because I'm concerned that Athena is going to be offended by my fake feather boa. So I am going to take it off because I don't want to be offending any of the birds that might be helping us to find no, uh, Trevor. So um, I spy with my little eye something that's the color turquoise and is strangling Nathan. Can you guess what it is, Susanna? Turquoise and Nathan. Turn that music off. I'm I'm tired of flying like an eagle. Uh, what could it be for? I, I I have no idea what what that is. Do you have any ideas, Sam? Turquoise. Guys, I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road. I already got a gremlin up here. Do you know how difficult it is to drive with a gremlin? I mean, come on. It's, it's worse than Adam poking Amber in the back over here. No! <laughs> Don't worry, Nathan. I took over while you uh, were trying to deal with the gremlin situation. Man, that was, that was some good stuff, Sam. You're like, like leading like a boss over there. Keeping got us on you. track. So... So yeah, I got strangled. It was pretty awful. And we're playing a game now. Like I love games. Road games are some of the best. Um, I, I am, you know, pretty happy that Nadine, you're being careful about offending um Athena and the Lady Guardians. I have a feeling they're gonna come in handy later. Um Amber, you're still napping over there. Nah, you guys are a little too loud for me. So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I um yeah, what what are we doing? We're playing I Spy. Huh. Um, Did anybody ever figure out up. what this turquoise thing was? Because I don't see anything turquoise. Adam, did you see anything turquoise? Did you get it? Well, that I think that's half the fun, right? Is you choose something that nobody's ever going to find. So Nadine, wow. soul sister, I get that you're purposely annoying people. I got it. Not, <laughs> not that I would. Not that I would ever do that. That would be wrong and bad, and I I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. It's, you know, it's amazing. We're going down the road here and uh, at some point we're going to have to stop. And the only thing I ask is that we stop somewhere that sells bubble and glitter because I, I got an idea that's going to, I don't know if it's going to help us find Trev, but uh, it's going to pass the time while we're looking for him. So can we, can we stop at the bubble and glitter store? And, and, and I got to pee. So there's that. <laughs> is that, what do you think, Nadine? Can we do that? <laughs> What are we going to get at the bubble and glitter store? <laughs> Don't ask is this questions. something that you have in the States that we can just pop? Okay, a bubble and glitter. That's very specific. We usually sell more things in the UK than just bubble and glitter in one store. <laughs> but I would be fascinated to get a tour of this and see what we can get. And I'm really intrigued about how we're going to find Trevor with bubble and glitter. Now I was thinking, and you probably have a specific store for this in the US because you do this. I was thinking we could get like a bat signal and like shine it through the sky with a flame on it and see if Trevor would see it from somewhere. And then at least if you're coming all the way to, to Clapham Junction to pick me up, then you know, we can just shine it all the way we go and he'll see it, right? Like he's obviously always looking into the sky, looking for, <laughs> looking for a, a flame or um i don't know maybe athena will see it and they'll be and she'll be like hey look over here um i don't know so if we can go specifically to the bubble and glitter store and then the laser store and then we'll oh. let adam pee because um he's of a certain age gentlemen um so <laughs> 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 Grey beard number two. So, <laughs> 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 is there anything you need to pick up 
up on the way, Susanna, that would be less offensive to the rest of the team. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you're looking for which now? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> a flame <laughs> laser. Uh, uh, well, I don't. I don't. I don't see any need for a laser. Actually, um, Athena just introduced me to Scotty, and so she's going to go up. She's got this ability to go really high up in the sky and see a whole lot of stuff. So I. And, and that's why I, I, I told Scotty to just stop playing Steve Miller for now because I was getting tired of that song. But yeah, she, she can go much higher than, than even Athena can up in the sky. So Athena, Artemis, they, they aren't going to go nearly as high as, as her. So she's going to be the one that I would send to take a look out. Um, and, and in fact, she's up there now. And I think She's already can see where you, where you guys are. It's, it's like where 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 are you guys sitting right now, Sam? I think we're pulling up to uh, Platinum Station so that we could pick up Nadine. Um, I kind of got a little lost. You know, we needed to get the glitter and the bubbles so that we can figure out, you know, some clarity and figure out which way we needed to go. Um, I'm still not so good at directions though. So I might have colored a little bit too much in the one bubble. Um, Nathan, can you help me figure out these bubbles? Well, I, I got a great idea. Uh, my friend Lisa was saying that the place to go is Party City. So I think right after we pick up Nadine, you know, we can get into the Party City. They've got bathrooms, I hear. I think you have to be careful when you go in them because there's like a lot of glitter and it can kind of stick on you. So, you know, if Adam ends up kind of sparkly for the rest of the trip, then that's just what's going to happen. Um, it's totally fine. Are, <laughs> so right, Amber, are we, are we pulling up? I think we're pretty close to Nadine now, right? Oh, are we, yeah. Um, wait, I think, yeah, I see her. I, you guys see her? She's waving. Hey. Tina's floating above me. There she is. <laughs> um, okay, so, I mean, we've got a little bit of a ways, but I do see her down there. So, um, Adam, are you all good? Did we get to take care of your issues? It, <laughs> listen, you know, you get to a certain age in life and, you know, listen, these things happen. I don't feeling a little judgment over here. Um, you know, uh, if we're going to leave now, now to head to Susanna, we should probably call ahead. Uh, it's her phone number. It's uh, eight six seven five three zero nine eight six seven five three zero nine. So we should probably call ahead, or I guess text. I don't know, whatever. but uh, we should probably let her know that's coming. Uh, Nadine, do you have a global pin on your phone? <laughs> Um, yes, of course I do. I have a global plan. I just have, you know, infinite money to put into roaming data. So <laughs> let's definitely give her a call. Um, okay, but can you all gather around, those of you that are with me, just so that we can call Sam and see see uh, see where uh, where we need to go next? Is that what we need to decide? Are you all here, Susanna? Yes. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to speak? You've got the nicest voice on the phone and like you probably it's always better to have an American voice than a British voice. Do you want to speak, Susanna? <laughs> so, no pressure. <laughs> I'm I'm the, the reception here isn't quite being in being in the woods, it's it's not quite the same as I think what you guys have. Who is it I'm supposed to be talking to? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I've, I've just been so busy talking with, with the rest of the guardians. It's, um, it, it's been an interesting time just trying to filter everything I'm hearing from them and everything I'm hearing from you and my ears. I, I feel like my head's about to explode with all these different conversations going on. Uh, I, I think I'm going to pass this one. I, I think you're going to be a better one at this than I am, Sam. <laughs> Well, first off, Adam, come on. That was Jenny's number. You were supposed to give me Susanna's number. How are we supposed to find Susanna when we're calling Jenny? 
come on, Adam. You got to give us the right number, man. <laughs> how? We're all confused. My bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, do you know how to get in touch with Susanna? Clearly, we don't. Well, I think like Susanna may be a step ahead of us because I just looked out the window. And thanks for letting me driving it, by the way, Sam. And I can see Athena <laughs> up there. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to follow her. And I imagine that she's going to lead the way to Susanna. So I'm gonna just going to drive and follow her. Um, amazing that the van can cross the Atlantic. So just nobody knock minivans. All right, <laughs> thing is, we've got gremlins, but we've also got some wheels that float really well. Um, you guys keep an eye out the windows, though. Like, let, let me know if we see anything important. Um, Amber, I'm going to keep on driving. Okay, uh, but isn't that why we have a Pegasus on the van to help us fly? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody now. <laughs> Let's keep it. Okay. Nathan, you're supposed to be driving. <laughs> Aren't we? Wait. So we're heading back across to the U.S. I, you all, Samantha, I am just as lost as you are. I'm so glad Nathan is driving now. Um, I don't. Do you see anything that tells us where we are exactly? Listen, I just got my hands in the air like I just don't care. <laughs> no, you know, I'm looking out the window here. I see I see hounds everywhere. We must be passing a dog uh, kennel or a dog place. Uh, and it's really giving me a lot of ideas, kind of an idea hound sort of situation. Um, you know, I, at some point, we should probably make our way to the Pacific Northwest. I mean, that's that's where the guy lives, right? So maybe he's maybe he's there. I don't know, but maybe maybe we should start some other place. I don't I don't know what what y'all think. Uh, you know, maybe maybe he's in deep space somewhere. Maybe he's in Kentucky, which is kind of the same thing, really. So I don't know. I mean, what what do you what do you guys what do you think, Nadine? I mean, we got we got to start somewhere, right? Um. Yeah, we've got it, but I'm assuming somebody checked his house before we all got six of us in a purple van um, and drove around. So I'm assuming somebody checked his town. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable assumption. So I think probably now that we're back in the Americas, we should drive down through Mexico, Central and South America and see if we can find them there. A lot of um, people uh, from the community have been doing a lot of nomadic work. So maybe he was like, I'm just going to take the show on the road. It's a show that I can do from anywhere. Maybe he was like, I'm going to go into the Brazilian rainforest. I don't know. So I think that's where we can go best, like a really long road trip. And we're all got, we're going to get through border control and that'll be a lot of fun. So I think we should, we should do that. I don't know. Um, so I can see over there uh, a reinvention maven. So I think that's probably where we need to go pick up Susanna and then once we've got her she's probably really good at map reading no Susanna you've got loads of military experience are you are you better at this than all of us because we're clearly lost and need somebody to tell us where to go let's, let's see um I can, I can try and send Scotty your way and I also I, I was just on the phone with a friend of mine who's in the fourth galactic cavalry so she's she's able to do a little bit of reconnaissance she's got some free time um our, our stories are very similar so that's how we got connected and she's she from what i'm hearing from her it doesn't sound like trevor's really south of the border i think you're gonna have to look a little bit further north uh that's what i'm getting from her connections and and that's what i'm getting from athena and the other lady guardians too it sounds like you kind of want to be more continental and maybe even start heading my direction. Um, what, what, what do you know, Sam? Have you, have you seen anything else? You know, Nadine, I didn't check Trevor's state or <laughs> home or anything. I, I just assumed that he wasn't around. I mean, he hasn't <laughs> been. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Maybe we should just swing by Susanna and pick her up. And he's in Washington, right? Like basically Canada. So, I mean, did we just travel across the country to go pick him up at his house? <laughs> <laughs> hey? 
That's exactly where Athena's led us. Look, here we are. We're in Washington. But listen, I got to tell you, if we don't find Trevor at his house, oh, Susanna, hop on in. So I heard <laughs> from some friends I have in the nationwide dog network that if we can find Trevor's dogs, maybe they can help him us find him. My connections, Boo and Zeus, were really insistent that like, this is what we ought to do. So let's get a little closer to Trevor and then we'll see what we can find out. What do you think, Amber? I, I mean, why not? Uh, might as well. Um, but, oh, didn't he have, isn't Nala, isn't that his dog's name? So maybe if we start calling Nala, yeah. Nala, then, then we might find him. I don't know. Adam, any ideas? I mean, that sounds like a great idea. I mean, I don't know, but uh, can we change seats? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to point fingers. I don't want to, you know, but somebody ate something. And I think it might have been Nate. I'm not saying, I'm not pointing fingers, but I listen, they're having tummy problems <laughs> and I need some fresh air. That's all I'm saying. So can we, can I, can I move closer to the front? Be in shotgun, please. Can we move around? Maybe? Sure, yeah, you can take over control of the video. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam's been bullied so much, she's given up control of the radio. Um, yeah, okay, so you can move over, but um, minor complaint, I've got no s'mores. Why has nobody been sharing the s'mores with me? Did Who ate really? them all? It wasn't you, Amber. I don't know. So you've just not been sharing? <laughs> rude. Where's mine? Go so quickly, one. Come on. It's not like you're driving or anything. <laughs> right. Okay. So Driver we've got a plan. We still need to know why we need the bubbles and glitter. Um, I think I've made it clear why we need the, the fire laser and we need to go and start shouting Nala. So we've got a good plan. We know how we're going to find Trevor now. We just have to actually head to his place <laughs> and kidnap him and say, you have to bring Hotness, Hotness Unleashed back because um, Nadine can't say it and because we just need <laughs> we just need it in our lives. So I think that's a good plan. I don't know. I reckon we can run with that. What do you think, Susanna? Well, right now, I'm, I'm actually getting word from Lady Sif that because she wanders all over the place and she happens to be up further north and she's seeing some smoke up there that she thinks is hotness, uh, unleash your smoke. And Athena's been talking to some of the other forest patron protectors further north. And I think it's time for you guys to kind of come through the northwest, come pick me up and let's head up towards the border. It sounds like there's smoke up there somewhere. And if we can go find that smoke, you know, where there's smoke, there's who knows? Fire. So, <laughs> what, what, what do you think, Sam? Does this sound like a good idea? I think that's great. I, I, you, we should just shout out for Nala. I think that's, that's kind of brilliant. I mean, I was go walking with her quite often. I know the arch bridge thing. So, so I don't, maybe we should just go find that. Nate, the, the bridge is right there. Pull over, pull over. <laughs> okay, let's get out and start calling. No. Nala. 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 I think we gotta go that way. Do you hear? Do you hear the dogs? I think I'm hearing them. I, I, do you guys hear them? Yeah. 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 Okay. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. <gasps> Wait, is that him? <gasps> is, do you see him? No, mm, maybe what? not. I don't know. <laughs> just your average <laughs> dog walker. Oh, hey, you found me! Is him. <laughs> I was here the whole time. I was here the whole what? time. What? Dad, yeah. What? Man, we traveled oh, all over looking for you, and you've been home this whole time. I was home the whole time. I, you know, I, not that hard to find. I mean, all you gotta do is <laughs> send me a DM or something. <laughs> we texted oh, why you. Why didn't you answer us? <laughs> I did. I answer you guys all the time. You guys, I think, have just <laughs> well, you blocked to... me. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm 
can't be friends with everybody, Adam. So, <laughs> sometimes, you know, when you get to a so certain Chad, age. So, now that we found yeah. you, what, what are you doing? Where have you been? Where's Hotness Unleashers? Oh, the Hotness Unleasher. Yeah, well, it's coming. It's coming back. We're going to go live again next weekend, a week from this minute. We will be live. I cannot wait for that episode to be honest and you know why because we're gonna have eight guests not two not three eight guests and we're gonna go rapid fire it's gonna be awesome did i say eight 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes we're gonna have we're gonna bring everybody in uh it's gonna be a global uh, Enterprise. I've got a guest from Nigeria uh, coming in this time. Yes. And it's all planned out. I've got everybody's been submitting their hotness unleashers and it's going to be a massive just unleashing episode of awesomeness. I can't wait. And you can see that I've got my own custom campfire rolling right now. See that? Look at that. You guys are just on. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yes. That's awesome. When so do you announce tell to us, us more like who you have eight guests coming on? I do. Yes. You want to know who they are? How awesome. Yeah. yeah. All, right. All right. Well, let's let's just let's just roll them out here. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Well, Sam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, I, I'll be there. <laughs> uh, apparently you're on the list. Plot twist. Uh, I've got Lisa Edmondson. <laughs> I've got Andrew Azizi. I've got Ayet Egbuho. I've got Crystal Ortega. I've got Alex Ivanov. I've got Akoya Chinello from Nigeria. And I've got Brian Poindexter. It is going to be well, amazing. Yes. Awesome. So now the wait. question, do you think my studio will burn down by then with these flames rolling? Or <laughs> it does look pretty hot up there. It is hot, and I don't have any s'mores. Dang, that was such a good idea, Nate. I mean, yeah, he ate them all. He doesn't have any and, left. And, and, the gremlins and, got into them, and the gassy is Throwing all done. Gremlins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like tummy got, hurts. Adam tummy made hurts. it to the bathroom on time. We're good. Poor, poor baby. <laughs> you know, and you know, Nate, Nadine, I, you know, you and I. It might have been that we both got lost temporarily in Amazon's dead zone. Uh, yeah, I mean, Amazon's dead zone in the UK. Anyone that tells me that Mexico is a third world country, I get stuff in a day there. And here I'm like trying to order something and it's like April 23rd. I'm like, great, thanks. Thanks, Amazon. <laughs> and there's and there's nothing you can do, right? There's nothing, nothing I can do. You can I mean, do. there are other providers available. <laughs> there are other places to shop. I don't want to seem like we're promoting Amazon at all. No, no, we can't do that. No, but yeah, you, I am so touched that you guys would drive all around the world in Nate's purple oh, Pegasus PSD. van to find to find me and to find the hotness show because you know it's ultimately not about any single person. It's about us as a community coming together and celebrating each other. That's it, mm -hmm. right? And it it that's all I can say. It's just a testament to your. Uh, your enthusiasm for what this platform has brought to our collective lives. I love it. It's it, I, and I did frankly get lost for a little while, you know, cause there was that, you know, <laughs> there was that bridge and I went, you know, I went under it. So <laughs> God, I'm, 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 I'm thrilled that you guys clamored and I heard you, I heard you call from my puppies. Um, because when you're calling Nala, <laughs> you're actually calling both of them because the other one thinks her name is Nala too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. We would love them to make an appearance no, on more shows. You, Trev, I wouldn't have met all of these other people that are on this screen with me. So, you know, when we first, all of this, this whole, you know, Fireside Stories Unleashed came about because of this guy and that guy over there. <laughs> uh, you know, we started playing uh, just in the comments and we had a really fun time with, you know, stairway to slide 700 and started riffing, <laughs> started riffing a song. And 
it just came up to uh yeah. you know let's just play a game <laughs> and <laughs> play the guitars yeah i think it all started um at least for me there was a there was a move there was a real switch when adam threw down a disco cover for his logo yeah mm -hmm. yep you know yeah and that yeah. happened <laughs> oh, it happened <laughs> that happened and we just went down a road together you know that that was fun and yeah um, and look where the road led us to some road... incredible connections and mm -hmm. you know sometimes you just have to be willing to ask us some random questions like hey do you guys want to go live and pulls out of ourselves trying to tell a story to find trevor van warden um and get that show you know? back on the air you know get it back right. on the air and yeah. and i have to say that it was i mean and in all seriousness like you guys Doing this is what got the next episode of the Hotness Unleashed show scheduled for February 11th. I mean, because if you guys hadn't been, I probably would have just. It was been, a no nah. mission. It was just kind of like, uh, it's coming. I'll get to We've it. We've been Trev. It's happening. Well, <laughs> it's it is scheduled. Sam's going to be there, right? I mean, we have got a player in the house. So, nice. yes, it it is going to be fun and and I'm this community owes it all to you for getting me off my Batinsky and getting going <laughs> after what yes i mean one of, the, one of the things that strikes me as so funny about all this is how like circular all of this is and how like so many of our conversations so many of our activities like feed into each other i mean i'm watching the comments over here and like so many of these names are people who are like active in the community we're seeing each other all the time i know Probably some of you guys remember from the Hotness Unleash or DM chat, like that moment when Adam started sharing his logo ideas and we were riffing on all that. It's so funny to sit here now and like look back to all that, which like that was back in December, wasn't it, Adam? Yeah. And, yeah. And, you know, to yeah. think that like over the course of the following, you know, month and a half, two months, like this entire, you know, record label got started. And then somewhere <laughs> in the middle of all that, this got started too. Like it's really one of the cool, coolest things that like I can think of happening online. It's amazing how fast things happen in this community. Like, I mean, literally within a week, you guys had songs like just flowing out of your brains and into, into LinkedIn. And um, and that's that's really kind of cool. I love it. Well, and and I think too, there's two, two two things very quickly. One is it is definitely a testament to the power of connections on LinkedIn, and not just with impressions. I struggle with and am. Burr and Kristen get to listen to me about all the time, but it's really those comments and connections and offline conversations. And, and to Nate's point, I'm looking, you know, I see Lisa and Hunter and Melissa and just Jeremiah, just scanning the list quick. I know there's others out there. I saw Steven there for a while, but those are all connections that you have. And it's those comments and DMs and what about this? And what about that idea where the, the magic really happens? But I think the other part, and I hope I'm not being too sappy or too cheesy, but I use the phrase, this project really is a love letter of sort to Trevor, back to, to Sam's major point of none of this happens without what Trevor started. And we're standing on the shoulders of, of other people. So it's, it's really a, a, a thank you to Trevor for his hard work and him having the chutzpah to get out there and get, get something going. Otherwise we wouldn't be doing this here today. So yeah, well, it's a, and you know, and Adam, I can, I can just, I can take that and I can accept it and I can say, thank you. And then I can turn around and I can look at Stephen Ng and I can look at Julie Mori and I can say, thank you for, for having a virtual coffee live. Right. And then I can go, I can go back a little bit farther and, you know, look at Dr. Jim and look at, oh man, um, like Victoria T, right? And Jonathan Lee for starting Social Saturday and kind of getting that whole thing rolling. And it goes back and back and back, right? It's like they're there, we're in this sort of domino, this chain. And here we are, right? And and we're we're collaborating, we're having fun. Like I have never had so much fun ever. Like as pretty much, I mean, professionally or quasi-professionally or or socially or whatever. 
and really exploring like like Nate and I had a had a, just a, a rad one on one talking about the um, the or digitally originated relationships, right? Yeah. And that for me, right, as a non digital native, um, that's new, right? And really, really figuring that out and having relationships that exist, you know, almost exclusively in, in this context, right? And, you know, chances of me, you know, seeing any one of you anytime soon in real life are, are low. Maybe Susanna, because uh, we're reasonably close and I get, do get to Portland from time to time. Um, but in the rest of you, probably not. If, and if it's some, maybe at some point, if we're lucky, right? And, um, and so it's like, oh, wow, that's a new thing. What, what are these relationships? How do they work? I don't know. Let's find out. What can we do? How do we collaborate? How do we engage? How do we connect? That's exciting, right? And, and isn't it true that it's it's no less genuine? It's no less genuine than the people that we meet in real life. Yeah. Indeed. Totally. Yeah, I, I probably talk to you guys more than I talk to anybody else in my real life. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> it's true. It, yeah. It's. Trevor, I love that I love that you just call them digitally originated relationships because I, I try I've been trying to shy away from the term virtual mm -hmm. connections or virtual relationships because I think a lot of the time when we hear the word virtual we think that it's not real but like these are real relationships they're not in person they're they're mediated through the kind of virtual you know on screen whatever but like we we're all really getting to know each other and like making these relationships and it's this really new and incredible thing because we all started off as strangers. Indeed. Oh, who let you yeah. get philosophical on us? We were waiting for that. Oh, well, you can only sit around a campfire for so long before you, you know. Yeah, yeah we can, it was we, coming. Blame it on the horse. Let, let's all hug. Yeah. Kumbaya. 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 And, you know, and the other thing is, like, I, I learned so much from you guys, too. Like, I, I wouldn't have, you know, like, from the storytelling and character build out, like, from Susanna and you know, Amber about your African adventures and, or, you know, lack thereof and grief processing and how you've been transparent about that and, and listening and watching and, you know, Adam all about, dude, turn your mic around, right? Watershed <laughs> moment, like be brave and say your mic is crap. Oh, guess what? <laughs> I didn't sap by the way. <laughs> you said something. <laughs> Just for clarity's sake. <laughs> you said, you said your mic isn't very good or something. It should be better than that, right? And, and oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. And I was like, da-da, you know, and and like these little things are happening. Um, and safety first when you're recording a uh, you know, a, a moving video, right? Like <laughs> I don't think about safety first. I mean, how politically correct is that? I'm just driving, man. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a wrecking machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, I don't I don't record video in the car at all ever. I don't I I don't have a a way, any way to do that stuff. But you know what's I you know what I actually am doing now, and a few of you have joined in, and it's super late for all y'all. But I started um, just pushing the button, uh, pushing the live button uh, at around nine o'clock Pacific time, and seeing what happens. Uh, and Amber, you showed up once, I think. Oh, because I was awake Susanna, at midnight. Susanna, you kicked around. I think you were hanging around last night, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, a little, a little bit in the comments. I, and I, I popped in and then out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had to go. You had to go to bed. It was. Get, I know it was like nine thirty, so you know, it was a little late for you. <laughs> you, you. You always do those though. It, it's like all of a sudden it's like here's Trevor at yeah nine something at night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it. It's a testament, though, to how much fun you people are, right? And 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 what kind of adventures and conversations and stories can be had at at any kind of random time. And I do yeah. think that there is some there is some algo hacking that's going on with that, right? That I don't think LinkedIn knows what to do when somebody just presses the live yep. button instead of planning it all out, right? And so it just sort of gets spastic and it and it and all of a sudden it, it sends all these notifications and yeah there's, there's something there there's some joy and some fun and some delight in in that, in that surprise i think good yeah. for you good for you doing that because a lot of it i yeah. wouldn't do this. <laughs> i'd be like what if i'm sitting there on my own talking to myself 
<laughs> that's so I'd be so bored but I I think it's really good that you put yourself out there and it pushes a lot of us you know sorry I'm getting sloppy now but it pushes a lot of us to be like okay well I can do this as well and maybe it maybe we'll make fools of ourselves <laughs> maybe we'll do a silly story that we've been building up to for weeks um to go and find Trevor or you know maybe yeah maybe it'll be something even greater than that you never know so I think you know thank you all of you and as well you know Sam all the stuff that you do it really just to watch you guys do it it makes the rest of us think oh maybe one day that could be something I could just have a go at and not feel alone yeah. well Nadine was the first and I think I that's mean, the beauty of the platform yeah hmm. like Trevor started his hotness on the show and it was it was funny because I I went to one of them and I just put it out there like I'm going to be on his show one day and here I am I'm going to be on his show and um the amount of knowledge that I've got like you did the your testing and Adam was like dude your mic is crap <laughs> didn't and, say that um, you know I went live for it. <laughs> I went live for um our first show our our crank up the leadership thing and um I was like buzzing after and then I watched it back and I was like, ooh, and I'm, I started picking it apart and I'm like this, I could be better in this and I could be better on that. Um, and then at a, um, like right now, so, 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 so proud of you, mm -hmm. confetti bomb an incredible dm that was very well put together just highlighting like you know you could do with this and you could do that um and and he just he gave such good feedback that i was so eager better and i think that that's the power of this platform is just genuinely want to see you succeed and who want to help you mm -hmm. Couldn't agree more. I think that's my favorite part. <laughs> Mine too. You guys are awesome, right? I am improved think about every day. Trevor, what do you? Trevor's back. Totally. What do you audience think of Trevor's show coming back? He's excited for hotness on the show. <laughs> While we're waiting for those comments, we are all a little. That announcement's coming up today. We got I serious, have... but it went to sleep. Yeah, they all they <laughs> all left. The entire audience. <laughs> they all left. You know. Are well, they here? Linky says we still have eighteen. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I see that too. I should have stuck yeah. to. Hi, yeah, eighteen people. Yeah. Hi guys. Thank you for um, sticking with us. Yeah, LinkedIn. I really like this whole LinkedIn thing about playing with like the light. These, uh, streaming things. What is it? It, it LinkedIn doesn't play well with streaming sometimes. It's a it's a thing that we're that I'm learning to navigate. Um, you know, <coughs> wishing like hoping that uh, I could get some testing done. I know that Trevor's been doing a lot of testing and going live, lighting and this and that. And um, you guys hung out, and then I was like, hey, we can bring this to my page, and then me and Nathan and Adam just randomly went live and we had a good time but um yeah learning all of this whole process is it's uh i don't know a learning curve i guess you there did a fantastic job yes very very good job there are you some did. comments coming in it looks like uh kelly uh is saying i'm excited since i'm for trevor's return new to Trevor's content and then a whole bunch of people saying they're still here. So we didn't run them all off. Yay. We didn't run them all off. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah Trevor about like finding people and lifting them and uh, showcasing them in a very intentional way. So that's the point. That is the point. Uh, like the, the more we uh, talk about other people, the better it is. Truly. I 100% be I believe that. You know, that's, that's it. It's my game. That's the whole purpose, right? But uh, what do you guys say we wrap up? Linky is not 
I think he's not feeling the the streaming. Does anybody actually have any, you know, tips or tricks? I know that Trevor does a lot of stuff, but any have but he have tips and tricks for these live shows? Cheesy. All tricks, right. Well, elevating. If you guys, <clears throat> if you guys aren't going to jump, I'm going to say definitely get that YouTube alternate channel set up. Mm. So we have that. I right? have. We, yeah. I'm streaming to my uh, live channel now. And the only thing you got to do is have 50 subscribers. So that's, that's it. And YouTube is so much more stable. Uh, if, if on an individual basis, um, that's, that's like job one, get that done. Stream to stream to YouTube in tandem with, with, with LinkedIn. Yeah. That's a good tip. It's an excellent tip. It definitely works better on the YouTube stream. Yeah. Yeah. But there's nobody there. Right. So you have to balance these, um, you know, these two channels, but yep. if everybody, if, if you're here and you're here to enjoy the content and you know, you want to follow along, then definitely provide that as an alternate channel. That's, that's a mm. big deal. Noted. Yeah. yeah. Noted. All right, guys. What do you say? We done? You found me. You found me. Go watch the Thanks, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> go comment. watch the van. And commenting. Yes. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you at the next Thank spontaneous Thanks for coming and having some fun with us. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you it next week. Fun. We'll see you next week. Or... <laughs> Bye. Hotness on Leisure is at what? Mon Saturday at 8 a.m., 11 p.m. Eastern, right? 11, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern time on February 11th will be the first uh, first episode. And then we're going to go the second Saturday of every month, except not March because I'm taking a trip to New York City instead of doing the Hotness and Leisure show. So I need to switch that date. But working on that. And yeah, uh, but the next one, February 11th, it's in stone. We're, yeah. we're making it happen. So a week from today, we, we'll be wrapping up that that uh, that first episode. Let me, let me just throw this out there too, because if you didn't quite figure it out, you should know the name of the seventh guardian and hopefully have figured yes, out what she the is. Lord. Wait, wait who's the seventh this, this guardian? Miller song. Huh? What was that? Who's the seventh guardian? Scotty. Scotty is an eagle. Oh. So that's why I started now off. Now we have to go to see Scotty. Oh, and some people seem to get it when I saw it in the comments. Well done to them. So that's well good. Done. So that's the seventh, and the post comes out later today. <laughs> awesome. Fabulous. I'm excited to hear about the new guardian. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, Trev, I'll see you next Saturday. Yes, and uh, if you're coming to New York City, we should probably meet up for pizza. Well, you know, let's see if it can if we can make it happen. Yep, because I'll definitely be uh, I'll just be cruising around Manhattan doing that whole thing. I'll reach out. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for Bye, having us. Have Bye. a great Saturday. Rock Jeremiah.